Hello, this is Annie Sense. Welcome to my channel where we just talk about perfumes all day, every day. <laughs> so for today's video, we will be focusing on the Lancome's Lenuit Tresor range. I own six. I know there are a few, uh, I know special editions and so forth, but these were just the six ones that I could find Um you know, I think the main ones, if we want to put it that way. So let's start off. This is the EDT. Comes with this, the pink corsage, corsage, um, purple pink corsage. The bottle is lighter than the original. This is the nude 2020 version release. This is the Caris or Saris version. It comes with a light pink mesh or sorry organza bow this one is the musk diamante beautiful bottle beautiful my favorite of all it's like wouldn't it look nice like wedding white this is the a la folle this is the original <laughs> it's like which one is that one so here they are um these two are the 50 mils these two are the EDTs, the rest are 30 mils. This is the original Gourmand. Most this is a YouTube made me buy it. Gourmand. So blind buy. Um it's gourmand. It's um smoky, it's got coffee in it, it's very sweet, it's got rose, these are all rose scents. Um it's original, it's just strongest in terms of smell compared to all six. It's the strongest smell. So People are not fans of it because it's too sweet, it's too smoky, but I like this. Um, it's not as popular as La Via Belle, but this was a scent that I recognised when I brought it. So I think a few people that I know do own this fragrance. This is the Alla Folie. So this is the sweeter, creamier version of this one. This was the second one that I brought after this one. I have layered them before. Um, people say that the projection on this one is, or CI is just not that great. Um, I, I, because I've worn it with this one, I've never tested it on, on its own until recently. This is part of my full two collection. Um, so this one, um, what I find on skin can hardly detect it. It doesn't last that well on my skin. Um, when you spray it at first, it doesn't project, I'll say as much but what i did was um i remember I, so i went in quite a few sprays went to work when i got to work i was like so i couldn't smell it at first when i got to work i was like wow this is strong like i think i've overdone it and um, the people around me could smell it i could smell it on my jumper for days and this is, so for me it does have good prediction but i'll say more on clothing and you might need to go in on a few with quite a few sprays this is the Musk Diamond. This one was, so this one was a blind buy as well. And I just got it, you know, being the collect as I am because of this one. And I knew I would like it anyway. This one was not a blind buy. This one, I think it came out last year. So as soon as it came out, I was like, I want to get it. Um. Uh, yes, it's, it's very has a touch of this DNA of this one, but I find it close, it's more closer to this one and this one. It's very musky, you get the rose. Has a touch of, a bit of creaminess that this one has, but um, this one, I don't know, for me, out of all, doesn't project as well. This one, for me, doesn't have that much projection, so... I don't know if this one, maybe I, uh, maybe I need to look at this. Yeah, yeah, I think even with the travel size I got to sample, I think the projection was just the same. So I think there's definitely wrong with the bottle. I just don't think it projects so well. It's so beautiful. It's the most beautiful one of the lot. But you can imagine it like your wedding day. So yeah, the protection the CH isn't the best. I do layer the two together. Um, but yeah, they're quite similar smell in eye frame, but this is just muskier and lighter. Let's go on to the Carissa Reese. This one is the one that is more closer to this one, I would say. 
This is more lighter. I don't think this has the coffee bean note. This actually has almonds on it. On skin, it lasts, but it doesn't have that good projection. So it lasts a long time on skin. It does last hours on skin. Um, but it pre it's one of those... I've, I've actually sprayed it on now. And they project... How can I explain this? So on skin, it's not like you smell it and you're like, oh my God, I can smell it. You can smell it more around you if that make like i can smell it now so i can really smell it now i'm currently wearing <laughs> good girl by carolina herrera the leger version and so i didn't want to spray it over all over that because it would just be a bit much so i only sprayed it on my arms just to test it because i just got this recently and i haven't worn it out but i i can smell it now so i think this is going to have good projection and last in power as well. So I'm looking forward to wearing that. It's got the almond. So that's what makes it different. But for me, this is very close to this. When I first smelled it, I was like, uh-oh. It smells just the same. But no. As it dries down, less sweet. It's like a watered down version. Maybe even like an EDT version. But with almonds. And um, yeah. Oh, patchouli. You can detect the patchouli in this one. I think more than the rest so you may not like this one this is the nude this one was a um so sorry this one I got a sample first this one I got a sample first because I was I'm a, such a fan so I was looking forward to trying this one I'm not going to lie with the first time I got it I was underwhelmed I was like yes it's got similarities with you know the original and this one I was quite un overwhelmed. They said there was coconut. I know it's got bergamot. Um, it's got the rose, the vanilla. So I was quite a little bit disappointed. It wasn't my typical sweet gourmet scent I was looking for. I was thinking, shall I declutter it? What shall I do? I added it to my full one collection. And I must say, after a few tries, I am absolutely in love with this. Absolutely in love with this. People say it's for summer, but it worked really well, I would say, during um, my full one. It's got that creaminess of this one. They both have the same creaminess vibe. The dry down, the coconut comes out. I love it. I do think you could get away with wearing it in full. It's really comforting. So it's a long, I would say these three share um, some similar similarities. This one is the EDT, and like this one, this is the EDT, guys. But they both perform exceptionally well. Last and power projection, both really good. And this is why I like Lancome. Like, if they're doing EDT, you, you trust that it's going to, it won't, you know, won't disappoint you. This one shares similarities with this one and this one. I get a similar vibe with these two. Um, as you can see, I've used it a lot. This is was in my full one collection. You get the rose. It's a fresher version, a lighter version of this. So again, if you this was too much, go for this. But this is heavy on the rose. Um, yeah. Um. So yeah. So if you ask me to pick a favorite, this would be really difficult. But one, two, and three will be amongst my favorite. This one is just the last in power. I feel like it had so much potential. But if it could have last in power like this, I think a lot of people would reach for it. This one, I need to test it out a bit more to see whether I love or like it. Um, If you like, this is maybe reminding me, I don't know if it's the Ellie Saab range almonds. It's not the type of almonds that you'll find in um, Givenchy. I know if Givenchy is it Delicacies, the Irresistible range or um, Ellie Saab. It's a bit different. Um, almonds. But yeah, so here is my, here is a collection. Do you need to own all? Um, I think you can get away without these two. These all are a bit, oh, I don't know, maybe the ones I said were my favourites. I think you could get away with just that. Um, I do look forward to what they're going to release in 2021. If I had, again... I'm, I'm, I will um, 
I need to try this one out a bit more before I give proper comments on it. Um, so yeah, so the guys, that was it. Um, yeah, this so this is it. Um, I'll say for last and power, these five are really good. If you want a creamy sweet berry one this one will be your one if you want one that's a little bit different i would say this is your different one is coffee actually these are quite different coffee this one not everybody will have so this is quite a unique one um it's not a scent that is common so that's why as well i really like it um i think if you own this one you're good to go it's nice it's really long lasting so yeah I'm babbling on now. Um, yeah. Do you need to own all? Are they all vastly different? A few of them are. A few of them are the same. But I do enjoy. And I'm very much looking forward to the next one. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you back again. Bye.